What's up Retro fans, it's Retro Robbie, and today we're going to look at a classic simulator game that was from the early 90s. Sim Tower, The Vertical Empire, initially released in Japan as The Tower, is a simulator video game developed by OpenBook in 1994 for Microsoft Windows and Macintosh System 7. Maxis published it outside Japan as part of the Sim series, with ports of Sega Saturn and 3DO arriving in 1996. In the game, players construct and manage a tower strategically placing various facilities to achieve a 5-star rating. Random events, like threat attacks, require fast player response. Critics liked Sim Tower's fun gameplay, but said it needed better instructions. They also thought it was too slow sometimes, which made it hard to make money and grow your tower. The game begins with a humble 1-star tower offering limited building options. To increase its star rating, the tower must attract more tenants by expanding living, office, and later hotel and commercial spaces. Advancing from 1 to 5 stars unlocks new facilities. To get the best tower title, players need to build a cathedral at the top of the big building. The tower can have 100 floors above the ground and 9 below. They have to use regular elevators for shorter trips and express elevators for long ones to keep people happy. Also, please make sure you add another lobby every 15 floors and have commercial spaces around it. This will keep people happy and so they don't have to go long distance to find goods and services, especially when they're higher up in the tower. Another good piece of advice I can give you is when building your tower, please keep living, hotel, and commercial spaces all separate from each other. Plus, with hotel rooms, make sure you add maid service facilities near them as well. The Sims will not clean the rooms like they do with the condo facilities. Lastly, make sure as well that you add one to two security facilities right near the lobbies. This way the security guards can cover more ground in case of a threat attack. Developed by Yult Saitul of OpenBook, it was compatible with computers running Microsoft Windows or Macintosh System 7, with the support of 68K based Macs at a minimum. The game needs 8-bit color and at least 4 megabytes of RAM to work. Sim Tower looks and sounds similar to other Sim games. It has nice pictures and quiet sounds like office noises and elevator bells that make it feel real. This timeless classic computer game is a must-have for simulator enthusiasts. Even today, it offers a challenging experience, and if you're not cautious, you can quickly find yourself facing defeat. Should that happen, be prepared to start anew from scratch. And that is a wrap on today's video, but the fun's not over yet. If you would like to see a full non-commentary playthrough of Sim Tower, then please click the video on the left. Plus, if you would like to watch the previous episode, you can do so by clicking the video on the right. Until next time, happy retro gaming everyone!